Welcome to Northern Lights over Arkham. I'm JP and this time I'm continuing testing out my Roland Banks Quick Study deck. I tweaked the deck a bit. Uh, I changed out some cards and added new cards. Uh, I added Mr. Rook because in the last test I found out that finding the Quick Studies is a bit of a problem. So <laughs> Mr. Rook will help in that. Uh, there's also a uh, little tweaks here and there. I removed some cards added inquiring mind because inquiring mind works quite well if you uh, drop a clue with qu quick study so you will always have a clue in your location to use the inquiry mind. Uh, also I removed a couple of cards uh, one of the evidences and one prepared for the worst for two Hawkeye folding cameras. So let's see how this deck does and this time I'm playing it against uh, Blood on the Altar. I decided to change the scenario up a little and I feel like this scenario is good for testing out decks. So hope you guys enjoy this and let's get going. If you like my content please subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. I've pre-shuffled the decks, so let's draw our opening hand. We get 45 automatic. I've had it worse. Mr. Rook, very nice. Deduction and Inquiry Mind. Uh, I think I'll ditch. I've had it worse. And the inquiring mind. Should I also discard the deduction? I think I'll dis uh, discard it and try to get the quick study in play as fast as possible. Well, I got an enhanced play, uh, death number 13, and pathfinder. So a uh, decent mulligan there. I hope with Mr. Rook's help we can find the quick study. The only problem is uh, these cards cost a lot of point uh, resources. So we will have to see how we manage to play them. I think I will play Mr. Rook, take one resource and play Pathfinder down as fast as possible and then build up to the resources for the weapon. Okay, so we get death number 13 in play as it was in our starting hand. We have five resources and let's get going. So first action, I'll play Mr. Rook. And I'll use Rook's free ability to search my deck. I search nine cards because I really need to find the quick study as fast as possible. So we get two weaknesses. I'll pick up cover up. It's less of an annoyance for me. Just put it there. Again, this is just a standalone, so it does basically nothing. And we got deduction, Hawkeye, inquiring mind, quick study. I've had it worse, art student and vicious blow, so I'll pick the quick study because that's what why we were searching in the first place. Shuffle our deck again. Second action. I'll just play down the quick study to have it in play. 
and third action i think i'll start getting resources for the weapons before i head out to the village so i have one resource and that's my actions we go to upkeep so i draw one card it's a steadfast and we gain one resource so that's the first and done and let's go to the next round the second round starts we add one doom to the agenda we draw our encounter card and it is uh, on wings of darkness i really don't have anything good to commit it so we'll just see how it goes well rook can suck up the damage i think we get a minus one we fail so one damage and one horror and i put them both on mr rook and that's the mythos phase done so let's start our investigation phase I'll take one resource, second action I'll play down the enchanted blade, just to have something to defend ourselves against all the bad guys. And third action we start moving, uh, I think I'll go to the schoolhouse first. There's one clue in the schoolhouse, and that's our turn. No enemies, so I draw one card, and it's a deduction, and I get one resource. So that's that turn done. Let's go to the next turn. We add another do on, on the agenda, and draw an encounter card, and it's kidnapped. So I think I'll test strength for this. We don't want to lose Rook just yet. So I'm 7 versus 4. So minus 3 or better is enough. Minus 2. We pass it and Rook is saved. Uh, before I do any actions, I think I'll use Mr. Rook. I search six cards. Actually, I just search uh, all of them. Not too many. We get a deduction. Another Mr. Rook. Hawkeye. I've had it worse, Roland's 38 special deduction, another quick study, crack the case and crack the case, so no weakness. I think we'll pick up uh, evidence just to pass this test in this location. And I can't commit skill cards, but it doesn't mean I can't commit other cars to the test. Okay. First action, let's investigate. I'll commit deduction. So I'm four, six versus four to the test. So I need Minus two or better. It's a zero. We get the clue. So we're ready to start using a quick study if we need it. Then as a free action we can check what card is underneath. So we find the key right at the start. So the chamber key is found. And now we just need to find the hidden chamber. Second action, 
because this is a dead end, I think I'll go there before starting to go around the town. I moved to the house in the reeds. So we search for a ninth count enemy and spawn it at the village commons. Yeah. So we get the hunting night count. There's also one clue here. I think we can get that clue easily. There's only a shroud of one here, so shouldn't be a problem. Uh, third action, I'll investigate. I'll investigate four versus one, so minus three or better. An elder sign, which is a plus one. So we get that clue. And we can see what's underneath here. So there's ancient evils. So we add one doom to the agenda. And I also mark this knight count here, so we don't forget where he is. And that's my turn. Uh, enemy face. The night can't haunt, so it moves to the schoolhouse. I think we move in and try to kill it next turn. So let's see how that goes, but that's the enemy phase, upkeep phase. We draw one card, we get a quick study, and we gain a resource. So that's the turn, let's go to the next turn. So we add the fourth doom on the agenda. So four of six, we get an encounter card on the wings of darkness again. We could try to pass it. I think I don't mind if I go to the central location and take a bit of damage. So let's just test it. Zero, so we fail. We go here, we take one damage and one horror, and I'll take it on myself this time. Okay, uh, that's the mythos phase. Let's start the investigation phase. So I think I'll go deal with the night count and start moving to these locations. So, first action. Uh, at least I think I'll use Mr. Rook again for the last time to spend all the charges before he gets kidnapped or something. So I search for nine cards. Took a couple of too many. So I get the, through the gates. And we could, I think I'll take Vicious Blow. Oh yeah, I can't use skill cards, so that won't help me. I'll actually pick up art student. Because if Mr. Rook dies, we can just play at the art student at the location with clues, so that would be helpful. And then we resolve through the gates. So we reveal the top card of our deck. It's I've had it worse. Don't really like to see those two cards leave my deck. So they actually go out of play. So I don't even put them in my discard. That's unfortunate. That was basically the only healing we had in our deck. And also some that, that's a good resource gaining card. Oh well, that's another weakness gone from our deck. And then uh, first action, we move 
to the schoolhouse. The knight can't engage us. We hit it with the enchanted blade. I use one charge from the blade. I get a fight of six versus three. And plus one damage. Minus two. So I do two damage to the knight count. And my last action, I'll drop one clue down. I get plus three from quick study. And I use one charge. So I'm nine versus three, so should handle this quite easily. Minus two. So the night count is dead. We pick up the clue with Roland's ability. And finally we got the quick study in action. And that's our phase, no enemy phase. We go to the upkeep phase, we draw another deduction, and we gain one resource. And let's go to the next round. We are at five Doom of Six. So next turn the agenda will advance. We get an encounter card, and it is a servant of many mouths. I think we'll put it there, because we're going there next. And it also gives us a clue at its location, if we kill it. Okay, so first action, let's go to the Osborne General Store. It's a three shroud location with one clue. This uh, servant will engage us. Second action, I'll drop one clue down and use the enchanted blade charge. So I'm nine versus two, uh, nine versus three. A minus three, so we kill the servant of the many mouths, and we get both of those clues. And let's see what we find in the general store. Strange signs. Test knowledge three. If you fail, add one clue from the token pool to your location. Two two clues. Instead, if there are three or more investigators in the game. So, we're testing at four versus... Actually, it doesn't matter if we fail this, because we already know that the... Hidden chamber is not here. So, minus three, I fail. So I add one clue here from the token pool. And it doesn't really matter. Uh, last action, we'll move to Bishop's Brook. And each enemy at Bishop's Brook deals plus one horror while it's attacking. And there's two, two clues here, so good thing we have some deductions at hand. And that's it. So no enemy phase again. We go to upkeep. Draw one card. It's a crack the case. And we gain one resource. And that's that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So we advance the agenda. So we choose one of the potential sacrifices. So I have Armitage, Sawyer, Morgan, Wheatley and 
foreign rice here. So we shuffle up and put one of them underneath the agenda deck. And that guy gets sacrificed. So I'll pick the bottom card, don't look at it, and put it underneath here. So that guy's dead. Let's put the rest of them back underneath the scenario card. And that's it. We draw an encounter card, which is... Psychopumps, Song, Search, Peril, Viat, Psychopumps, Song to an Investigator's Threat Area. When I take one or more damage, I take two additional damage and discard this card. So we just put it here at our threat area. And it gains search, so we get another card. And it's Ancient Evils. So we add one Doom here. And then starts the investigation phase. So first action, I'll play my 45 automatic. Second action, I'll investigate and I will commit both of my deductions to this test. The reason is because I'm also exhausting quick study to put one more clue here. So now I'm four, five, six, seven, eight, nine against three. Minus three, so I succeed and I get three clues from this location. And I also can use crack the case, so I get three resources as the shroud is three. And we get to see if we find the hidden chamber. We found it. Nice. So. Last action, I think I'll play down Pathfinder as our last action. And I won't move into the hidden chamber yet. I'll do that next turn. Okay, so no enemy phase, we go to the upkeep phase. We draw one card and it's the thing that follows. And it spawns at the farthest location from us, which is the house in the reeds. So that thing is coming to get us. We ready up our stuff and gain one resource also. So that's the turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add another doom on the agenda and get an encounter card. And it's eager for death. Test will 2. Increase the skill test difficulty by 1 for each damage on you if you fail take 2 horror. Uh, we are at... Three will... Uh, I have one damage on me, so it's three versus three. I think I'll just test it out. Actually, uh, I could use quick study here. Should I do that? So I'll use quick study here, drop one of my clues, because I don't need to pick them up. And I'm plus three to the test, so I'm six versus three. So we have good chance of passing this. Minus three. So we pass it. We don't take any horror. And quick study is exhausted for this turn, but I think we're not doing much of fighting. Okay, so investigation phase. 
Uh, first action, I think I'll use Pathfinder. I move into the hidden chamber, so we advance the act deck. We reveal on, it, on each unrevealed location. There's only one left. Then move all clues in play, including those on each investigator to the hidden chamber. Spawn the set aside Silas Bishop in the hidden chamber. So Silas Bishop, the big baddie of this scenario, comes into play. And I'll actually mark him with this green monster token. Uh, he is massive, so he just sits there and does not make attacks of opportunity. So we can investigate here. And then we have Act 2. So if Silas Bishop is defeated, we go to Resolution 1. And if there are no clues on the hidden chamber, we advance. So we have two options here. So first action, we uh, the first we do, we put all of these clues in play onto the hidden chamber. And have to check, <clears throat> have to check if, yes, also those that are on investigators. So there are nine clues on, in the hidden chamber. So we basically need nine successful investigations here to get them. And counter to that, we could just kill Silas. And he has six health and a find of fight of three. So I think that would be the easier option. But we have plenty of time in this scenario left, so we try to investigate and see how, how that goes. If it starts to look bad, we can just then kill, kill Silas off. Okay. Our first real action, I think I'll investigate. So I'm four versus three. I don't commit anything to this test. I get a minus one, I get one clue. Second action. I'll investigate on four versus three, so minus one or better. It's a minus one, we get another clue. And last action. I'll move out of here. So we don't take the damage. In the enemy phase, uh, Silas isn't a hunter, so he doesn't move, but the thing that follows starts coming at us. So it moves from the house in the reeds to the schoolhouse, and that's the enemy turn. We go to the upkeep, so we ready our cards and action tokens, and get one card. It's Roland's 38 special and one resource. So that's that turn. Let's go to the next turn. There is now three Doom of Six on the agenda. And we get another encounter card. And it's again eager for death. We drop one of our clues down again. We can just dump them here. Only thing that matters that they are not in the hidden chamber. Uh, we test six versus three. Actually, hmm. yeah, I'll, I'll save the quick study because if we want to try and play another one sometime, it would be useful to have two. So six versus three. It's a cultist. It's a minus four. If you fail, add one clue from the token pool to your location. That doesn't matter, but the thing that matters is that we take the two horror. So Rook dies, <coughs> and we take one horror. That's okay, because we're, we were going to play the art student anyway, this turn. So that's the mythos phase done. Let's go to the investigation phase, and 
this was if I take damage, right? Yeah, so this doesn't trigger because we didn't take damage. First action is the free action from Pathfinder. We move into the hidden chamber. First real action, we play down the art student. We grab one clue from here. We'll investigate. Four versus three. Minus one. And we move out. Yeah, that's three actions. We played, investigated and moved. Yeah, and free moving. <laughs> yes. Uh, enemy face. This thing that follows comes to here. I think we need to deal with that next turn and then get back to getting the rest of the clues. We draw one card. It's another Pathfinder and we gain one resource. And that's that turn. Let's go to the next turn. So one, four Doom of six on this agenda. Encounter card is Servant of Many Mouths. We can just put it somewhere that it is not bothering us. Actually, we could also kill this and remove one clue from there. Let's put it here as an option. So if we're feeling unlucky about the investigations, we can just walk in here and then defeat that guy. Okay, so investigation phase, we move into the Osborne General Store and we engage the thing that follows and we shoot at it. So I'm actually drop another clue here. These um, have been readied. So I drop one clue there. So I'm uh, 10 versus 3, minus 2. That guy's dead. We have to shuffle him back into our deck. So I moved, attacked. Just thinking how I should spend the rest of the turn. Yeah, I think I'll just move here and because I defeated an enemy here, I can pick this clue up. We just take it as a precaution. Uh, I'll use Pathfinder to move here and I'll actually draw one card. And it's the Hawkeye folding camera. Well, a bit late in the scenario, but it's a will icon, so I could commit it to a will test at least. Enemy face. Uh, None of the enemies have Hunter, so they're just tightly sitting where they are. Let's go to the next round. Oh yeah, uh, before that we need to do our upkeep. So we get one card. That's a really good draw. Inquiring Mind will help us a lot in the Hidden Chamber. And now we can go to the next round. We are at 5, Doom of 6. We get an encounter card, which is another servant of many mouths. So, now it gets really interesting. We could just bounce back in these locations to kill those off. We get two clues off, then we only need three investigations anymore in the hidden chamber. Okay, we're getting some good, good luck with the encounter deck. And now that I said it, it's gonna get horrible. I'm I'm certain of that. And uh, we forgot to ready those again. That's usual for me. Uh, first, I'll 
use the free action to move into the hidden uh, hidden chamber. And so I'll use the inquiry mind. So I'm seven versus three for the investigation. It's a skull, and the skull is minus one for each location in play with no encounter card beneath it. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. So it doesn't succeed, unfortunately. Well, that was a bummer. I think we'll pitch. Roland's 38 for the next investigation check. So I'm 5 versus 3. Oh dear. Minus 4. If I fail, add one clue from the token path to your location. And this is not the location we want to add. add tokens to unfortunate but it is what it is i had to talk about the encounter deck so the chaos pack is punishing me and last action let's let's back up we have to rethink this and uh, enemy phase nothing happens we go to the upkeep phase we draw one card it's another inquiry mind well Helps some, and we get the resource, and that's it. Let's go to the next turn. The agenda advances. Okay, we lose another, another guy underneath the scenario card, and this guy's dead. Hopefully we can save the rest. Encounter card is rotting remains. So this is a good time to use our quick study. We drop one clue on our location. So I'm six versus three. I go seven versus three. I uh, spent the other quick study to this test. So it's zero, I pass, so I don't take any horror. Okay, so we go to the investigation phase. Six clues and we have six turns, so we need at least one clue every turn from the hidden chamber. Well, uh, first action, we use Pathfinder again. We move into the hidden chamber. We commit inquiring mind to the investigation check. Minus one. We get one clue. Second action. See if I can commit anything. We don't have any. Yeah, let's just try a luck. So four versus three, zero. We get another clue, and the last action we bail out again. And enemy phase, nothing happens. We go to upkeep. Hopefully we draw something to help us with the next investigations. We get an art student, so we get basically one free clue. That's nice. And one resource. And let's go to the next turn. We add one doom. We draw 
an encounter card, it's a Weeper Will. That doesn't bother us that much because we're jumping in and out so the Weeper Will doesn't come harassing us into the chamber. That's okay. Uh, again, we use Pathfinder, we move in. We play the art student. We replace that one, the new one. We get one clue. We investigate. Three versus, uh, four versus three, so minus one or better. Minus two, we fail. And we move out. A bit boring to watch, I think, but it is what it is, and this is basically the way to do it. So, enemy phase, nothing happens, and we go to upkeep. So, again, we try to get something to help us with the investigations. So, we get a crack the case that says a knowledge symbol, and that, that's good. Add one resource and let's go to the next turn we add another doom we get an encounter card rotting remains we drop one clue on our location so we're and i'll commit this hawkeye folding camera to the test also so I'm 7 versus 3. It's a tablet, it's a minus 3, and we reveal another token. Dropped it into the back, so just a moment while I fish it out. Minus 2, so minus 5. And uh, we are will 7 minus 5 is 2, so I take one horror and I put it on the art student. I think my, I ca calculated that right, so 3, 6, 7 minus 5 is 2, so I fail by 1. Yeah, so one horror. That's not that bad. Okay, uh, investigation phase, we use the Pathfinder again, go into the chamber, we investigate, 5 versus 3, so minus 2 are better. It's a 0. And actually, now... I could just go deal with the servants of many modes and get the remaining two clues. And I think that would be much easier than to risk of me pulling a cultist token or a bath token. So we'll do that. So I draw one card and I move out. And next turn we go either here or here and defeat one of those guys. Yeah, that's the plan. So, uh, enemy face, nothing moves and we go to upkeep. So I draw one card, scene of the crime. Not that useful. Well, it has a knowledge icon, but I think I'll go just fight. Well, it has a strength icon too, so that's helpful also. And that's our turn. Let's go to the next turn. We are at three Doom of Seven. And we get an encounter card, which is sorted and silent. At that sorted and silent to your location. At the end of the round, each investigator at the location takes one horror. When the agenda advances, this card sorted and silent. We put it just over here. And let's go to the investigation phase. I think I'll 
have to count actually. So we have uh, one free move. So free move, fight, move and move, take a couple of damage. Yeah, I think that, or uh, just take one horror by coming back here. I think that's a good plan. So uh, we use the Pathfinder, move here. This uh, Servant of Many Mouths engages us. We hit it with, uh, we shoot it with the 45 automatic. And we use Quick Study, drop one clue on this location. So we are four, six, nine versus three. It's a minus three, so we kill this servant of many mouths and we discover one clue at any location, so we take it from the hidden chamber. And Next action, I'll move back here. I can soak the horror with the art student. Last action, I'll draw one card. And that's it. Uh, enemy phase, nothing happens. At the end of the round, I'll take one horror. I'll take it on the art student. And that's it. Upkeep. We get a vicious blow, and we gain one resource. Okay, so let's go to the next turn and try to end this scenario. Hopefully the last turn, we are at 4 of 7 doom. Uh, we get an encounter card. It's another Whipper Wheel. It doesn't affect us at all. I'll just Put it next to this this one, and then uh, Pathfinder. We move into the Osborne's General Store. This servant of many mods engages us. We use the 45 automatic. We use Quick Study. Drop one clue there, and let's commit a vicious blow. Why not? Actually, let's not, because if we fail with a tentacle, we still have a good good uh, boost to our next try. So we are mm, 6, 9 versus 3, minus 1. So we defeat the Servant of Many Mouths. We discover one clue at any location, so we grab it from the hidden chamber and we advance. And we don't have the Necronomicon, so we get Resolution 3. And that's it. This time uh, the Quick Study deck worked like a charm. In this scenario, especially because there are no victory point locations anywhere, you can just drop the clues anywhere and use them to boost your attack or whatever skill check you need uh, and now because actually I forgot to pick this up it's an optional action so it doesn't matter but if it were a victory point location you could still pick it up and not lose that victory point if you are fighting but that is the quick study Roland Banks deck I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.